The savanna here in Vusha is the heart and soul of the reserve. This grassland sustains a cross-section of plants and wildlife, from the smallest birds to the harems of the pronking springbok. Or at least, the grassland used to sustain them. Now there are so many springbok, we may have to rename this area Springbok City. I kid, but the problem is real. The savanna can't sustain Springbok City. Fewer plants will thrive, the topsoil will erode, birds that nest in the vanishing shrubs will flee. And if we don't get relief from this drought, the smaller animals competing for grazing areas will die. On that, your codex has plenty of helpful information. But in Africa, the world is your classroom. Why only read about Springbok when you can see them for yourself? Find a male and a female, one of each, and spot them. Observe them. She's a beauty. Nice find. Both male and female springbok have horns, and the females are only a smidge smaller than the males, so you'll have to learn to tell them apart. Okay, one down. Now find a springbok of the opposite sex. Excellent specimen of a male springbok. During the mating season, you'll see guys like him locking horns, vying for territory. So, Lion, now that you've had a look at your prey, studied how the males and females behave. How about a hunt? 